lying. It's a sacrifice. Hello everybody, how are we all? I hope you're all doing it really well. Welcome back to my channel and to another weekend vlog. This weekend vlog is another themed one, as you can tell if you've been watching for the past couple of weekends. Myself and Zara like to transport ourselves to different parts of the world. We've been to Italy, we went back to the 1920s, I'll link both those videos down below. This Saturday we're going to America. We're visiting our cousins across the pond. I know I have quite a few American viewers. If you are from America, I would like to just say it in advance, this is by no means meant to be offensive or um, inaccurate. This is our representation of what the United States of America actually are. I have been to the US quite a few times. I um, I've traveled for a month and a half there. It was brilliant. So we're having an American day because we're stuck in London. And actually, we're eating the things that if we were there now, yeah. we'd like we'd to spend our day have. eating. Yeah. So we're making waffles for breakfast. And tonight, we're making waffles. We're making waffles for breakfast. We're having um, Philly cheesesteak sandwiches for lunch. And we're doing sloppy burgers and fries for dessert. Uh, what we have? No, for dessert. For dinner, sorry. What for dessert? We might just have ice cream because we're not going to the shop. Okay, great. Let's let's make some waffles. Okay, so this waffle iron I actually bought. God, it must have been maybe four years ago. It's great. It's from Von Chef. It's a little bit battered. It's served me well. It's great. Let's give it a bit of a clean. These are all the ingredients you're gonna need. You're gonna need some flour, uh, caster sugar, baking powder, vanilla, milk, eggs butter and salt. Stir all that in a bowl and bang it in a waffle iron. I'm so excited. I haven't had waffles in, well, we had some in Prague, but actual homemade waffles, we haven't had them in over a year, so it's nice to actually, you know, do something different. So I'll link this down below if it's still available. If not, I'll try and find some alternative ones. So let's get bacon. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun, side by side our fears are done. All the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright we're making a quick raspberry compote to go on top of the waffles. So um, these are just frozen raspberries that I've thawed for about an hour and then I'm gonna drizzle some maple syrup over and just reduce them down. Not to like a proper like syrup, but just so they start to break down and make a lovely raspberry coolie. And then we're gonna have them with some natural yogurt. So now it's time to check the waffles. Oh, mama, look at those. This machine, best, most impulsive purchase I've ever made in my life. Genius. Oh my. So good, isn't it? Mm. Oh my lord. They are delicious. You close one eye, close the other. Could be right back in Manhattan. Instead, we're in London. They literally look amazing. Okay, so a couple of hours has passed since we made our waffles. We've just been chilling, obviously, you know, relaxing, chilling at home. I've just been listening to an Instagram live, which is really nice. Zara's just been sat outside. What have you been doing for the past hour or so? So I've just been watching a bit of YouTube <laughs> on the terrace and I'm about to make us some lunch. It's currently half past two, so we're having a bit of a late lunch because we had fairly late breakfast and I'm gonna make Philly cheesesteak sandwiches. But instead of steak, obviously myself and Zara are vegetarian, we're gonna use this Plant Pioneers jackfruit. So apparently jackfruit is a really good substitute. I've had jackfruit a couple of times before. We did a jackfruit stew, which I loved. Zara wasn't so keen, but this, I think, looks amazing. I'm following the recipe from Bosch Vegan, so I'm gonna link those guys down below and the full recipe if you do wanna check it out. I'm tweaking it slightly just to make some changes for more my taste. This is gonna be my take on it, but this is a bit of um, work I'm doing in partnership with Sainsbury's. So if you do wanna check out the video I do create, I'm not gonna pop it in this vlog because I need to film it for Instagram. You can head over to my Instagram page, which I'll leave on the screen, and also down below, 
and you can follow Sainsbury's as well who are going to be doing 30 recipes throughout the whole month of May which is amazing so my Philly cheesesteak recipe is going to be up on there which is very exciting so yeah I'm going to get cracking making that I'll show you the end result of course but I need to film the process for Instagram so that's what's going to happen I know I said I wasn't going to show you too much but this is a little behind the scenes of the Philly cheesesteak so this is my camera set up so I have it on a tripod and this is kind of how I do things. So I've got my frying pan going on with the jackfruit. I've got all the spices in there, um, peppers, and then I just film what's going on over here and give you a little, my camera will focus. So you guys can basically see what's getting recorded there. And then I edit it all together and then that creates the dish. So yeah, this is gonna be amazing. We got some really nice soft sub rolls from Sainsbury's and some Pilgrim's Choice Sliced Mature Cheddar. You can make this vegan, of course. And these are like the nice jammy onions that I um, sauteed with a little bit of balsamic and brown sugar. Oh, so good. Just gotta add some vegetable stock and some corn flour. And then this is gonna go in the oven to like crisp up. Oh my God, I'm literally so hungry. This is gonna be delicious. So this is the finished Philly cheesesteak sandwich. If you want to see the full recipe, like I say, I'll link it down below, or you can check out Sainsbury's. But me and Zara are going to dig in now. It looks so good. You nervous? How'd you feel? Yeah, can I get some mayo? That's not it's got me. mayo in it. Okay, fine. Do you want some more in it? No. Right, we're going to go in for the taste test. Right, we're going in. That is delicious. Oh my lord. No, it is. It's good. The only reason I'd have more mayo is because just I particularly like mayo with sandwiches. Not because of the taste. I love that. So it was that good, I made a second one. But Zara's full up, so I'm I'm just gonna have the whole thing to myself. <laughs> that was amazing. I probably shouldn't have had all of that, but I, I did. <laughs> okay, so we've eaten our Philly cheesesteaks, we've had our waffles. I mean a lot of our dears do tend to centre around food. Um because and that's wine. that food and wine. It's not even American wine. Anyway, what we're gonna do, plan for this evening, we're gonna build a fort because we're gonna pretend like we're going to a drive through movie. You excited about that? I can't wait, I'm so Great. really stuck to that. We're going to watch Grease because it doesn't get any more American than that. And we're going to learn the dance from Danny and Sandy's Dancing Grease. It's the final dance. We're going to get dressed up. I'm going to be Danny Zuko. Zara's going to be Sandy. But we need to learn the dance. The end dance. You know, it's like, you're the one that I want. You are the one that I want. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Honey, the one that I want. And then for dinner, we're making cheeseburgers with sweet potato fries. And that's it, right? Coleslaw. It's going to be delicious. Like always, we do follow some kind of YouTube tutorial. This one is the Just Dance. Did you ever have Just Dance? Yeah. I didn't. It's, uh, clearly, because I can't dance. So the Just Dance 2016 duo, you're the one that I want from the Movie Grease gameplay official. So. <laughs> I do. If you saw our 1920s vlog, if you haven't, I will link it up in the description. Uh, up in the little type, sorry. keep the mood swings in that one? Mm -hmm. I get a little bit frustrated if I can't learn a dance. Okay, fine. But this seems relatively easy. We learned the Charleston in the 1920s. We learned an Italian dance when we went to Italy. I mean, that was just a... So now, we're going to learn the duo of You're the One That I Want. You can be Olivia Newton-John, and I can be John Travolta. I thought we were going to be Sandy and Danny. For those of you who do know who Olivia Newton-John and John Travolta are, they're the character, they're the actors who play Danny and Sandy. Oh, why would you say that? It's just Dan, Danny and Sandy. This is who I live with, ladies and gentlemen. I've had seven weeks of isolation with this. With just nothing but greatness. Right. I take my shirt off. Oh, and then I go. I'm gonna need to practice that. <laughs> You put the power on. It's electrifying. Guys, I'm about to take my shirt off. Look at that. I don't know how John Travolta and Olivia Newton John did that. It took us about seven rehearsals, and this isn't even properly the film from the the dance from the film, but it's the one from Just Dance. So we're going to take for that. Do you feel like we've got it? Yeah, I feel like we need to do one more from the top. And then we kind one more of do our top. dress your sticking. We're going to see my Philly cheese stick sandwich in a second. Okay, so we've nailed the dance. I feel like we've got the dance on lockdown. Pardon the pun. I just washed my hair because I'm about to fully like slick it back like Danny did and then pop like a little bit forward. It should work. This is all a bit ridiculous to literally reenact a dance that's going to last all of about two minutes, but it's part of the fun. So let's choose the outfits. Obviously, we don't need any of this. We just need the black jeans which are here and they're skin tight in the movie so that's perfect 
and then we need a black t-shirt, which is here. So there we go, we'll use that one. Okay, so this is where we're at. The jeans currently only go this high because I still want to be able to breathe, but we've got full black going on. I'm gonna roll up the sleeves just to make them pop a little bit more, because you can like caps them to like there. And then I'm gonna do my hair, which I'm very excited about because I haven't slicked it back in forever. This is what I'm using, it's this um, Johnny's Chop Shop High Shine Pomade and a hairbrush to like roll it back. I got chills, they're multiplying And I'm losing control For the power you're supplying It's electrifying Before I sleep I feel like we've gone back to the 1950s. Look at that quiff. Woo! So I can't do the Danny Zuko without the classic leather jacket. I'm not keeping the hat on. That just keeps my hair down while it cools. Oh, look at that. Zara's joining the party. Sorry. I know, you look great. This is like gloop. It's some serious glue, but we need it. I feel like the 1950s, like that kind of hairstyle, was it the 60s? Maybe, I think it was actually the 60s, you know what, tell a lie, I think it was the 60s. It was all about high shine, everything was polished, it was looking good. I don't even know if this is still in date, I hope it is, I haven't used it in the longest time. It's probably going to pull all my hair out. Oh, serious slick back. Good lord, it looked like Wolverine. The cricket, see the moon. Side side and through and through. Hair is done, jacket is on. Zara, come in, come in, I feel like people need to assess. This is my Olivia Newton-John, this is my Sandy for the, oh look at the hair Sandy. flick. Mm. You've got the hair off the shoulders, you look amazing. The hair off the shoulders. Not the hair off the shoulders, sorry, the top off the shoulders. She even put heels on. Thank we literally you. just assessed, Zara hasn't wore high heels. In seven weeks. <laughs> Have you forgot how to do it? I think so. <laughs> Ready for a burger? And then we're making a fort. Yeah, we're building a fort as well, we're gonna watch Grease, right? Start the dance. I got chills, they're multiplying, and I'm losing control for the power you're supplying. It's electrifying. Cue the dance. Okay, so the dancing is done, and now it's time for some delicious burgers. We're using the Linda McCartney uh, vegetarian pulled pork quarter pounder burgers. Anything Linda McCartney, I feel like, is just ridiculously tasty. We got these in Morrison's um, last weekend, so we're gonna try them. We're gonna put it in some brioche buns, these are from Audi. We've got some cheddar cheese from lunch. We're gonna do some red onion and some salad, and we're gonna do some sweet potato fries as well. Okay, so I've just cooked up some sweet potato. I'm just going to drizzle it with a little bit of vegetable oil. Like so, fab. Give them a little toss with some salt and some paprika and roast them for about half an hour. Okay, so the burgers are in the oven. And we wanted to try and recreate some kind of like drive through 1960s style outdoor cinema in our living room. So, we're building a fort. <laughs> As you can see, Zara is battling. <laughs> I'll show you how we do. We did it about, I think it was mm, about three weeks ago actually, and it was really fun. So we're going to try and recreate it. So these are the poles that I use for my studio lights. So we do one on either side, and then we attach some bed sheets up into our curtain poles. Because we don't have curtains in our flat, so we're quite high and no one really looks in. So we attach them to the top, and then we like drapes over, and then we bring the mattress in. 
It's quite cool. I'll do a time lapse so you can watch it all unfold. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy, but things are finally right. With you and I, the future is bright. So this is our makeshift DIY fort. It is definitely DIY and definitely makeshift. Um, we put some fairy lights on it as well to make it look a bit more cozy. Let's just stomp out the light. The purpose is because it looks like stars on the inside. And the purpose of the fairy lights apparently is to make it look like stars on the inside. Well done. <laughs> it's to mimic a drive through cinema. So we're gonna watch Grease, but um, yeah, this is it. On the inside, Zara's just put all the cushions in. Got a bit of Gavin and Stacey going stars. on. Stars. Oh yeah. And then and the actual stars. The burgers are cooked and I've just finished them up with some cheese in the oven. Oh my god. They look amazing. You've got the sweet potato fries going on over here. We've got some ketchup and mustard. I'm just gonna pop the burgers in the buns and then we're ready to eat. Before I sleep, hear the crickets, see the moon. Okay, so we are about to watch Grease. It's £3.49 to rent, and it's a small price to play for an amazing film, so we're gonna click that and rent. This is on Amazon Video, by the way, and then we've got the fairy lights going on, and our amazing burgers and sweet potato fries. We don't know they're amazing yet. Yeah, I hope they're good. We'll report back on the taste. Right, what I wanna know is if they're as good as the meatballs. Oh, that's tasty. Okay. Okay, we watched Grease. It was brilliant. Burgers were delicious. Film was even better. Oh my god, look at our little ketchup things here. If you have enjoyed this vlog, I'm going to end it here. Um, it was a, I think it was a pretty short one. You enjoyed our dancing and you liked our thought, do give it a thumbs up and let me know as well if you're going to try this at home. I do always love to hear what you guys get up to. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you very soon.